Hey folks, your OS reviews. You're watching our retro look back at the Leapfrog iQuest. This is a learning portable console that was released by Leapfrog in the early slash mid 2000s, and you can clearly see that the inspiration was drawn from pocket PCs and PDAs, which were the hype back then. The form factor really reminds us of a BlackBerry with its QWERTY keyboard on the bottom, and it's a fairly chunky device by today's standards and has a monochrome black and white screen. However, like most Leapfrog products, it has a very well constructed uh, overall design and uses a proprietary cartridge system which you can load up with more games as well as applications and tools for learning. What was unique about the iQuest system was its wider target demographic as well as the age range compared to some past uh, Leapfrog products we've seen. For instance, the iQuest even features a cartridge for SAT prep, which is uh, late high school and also specialty subjects as well, uh, whereas you know the earliest cartridges you could purchase for this could go all the way down to elementary school learning. So it features you know quite a few selections of games and programs uh, that, that's a bit wider than their typical middle school, elementary school audience. So taking a closer look at the design of the iQuest, again it has a monochrome black and white screen on the front. It isn't a touchscreen display, but rather just a typical LCD. Uh, it doesn't have really a backlight, so it makes it a bit more difficult to read under darker environments. There is a four-way navigation toggle, which is fairly responsive and tactile, along with the enter key there. The top row of the keyboard is dedicated to numbers, as well as some symbols if you press in the shift key, and there's also a standard QWERTY layout, which is a pretty tactile and responsive. The keys feel pretty nice in terms of the overall feedback as well as the layout, and they are risen above the surface. There's also a space key that is centered, along with a repeat and a menu key for going through the user interface. The side here also features access to a power on off switch. The back features a single mono loudspeaker, which could get extremely loud despite being rear mounted as, far as opposed to front mounted, and also took uh, double standard AA batteries, which were replaceable, uh, lasted for a few months before you need to swap them out. Of course, we do prefer rechargeable batteries these days, but then again, this is one of the reasons why the iQuest console could be sold uh, back then for a relatively low cost, of course, compared to regular PDAs and pocket PCs. There's also dedicated controls for the volume on the sides, which is the same kind of design philosophy that we see in current generation LeapFrog products. So uh, overall, a very sturdy product just because it is coated in a layer of soft touch rubber, so it doesn't resist, so it does resist uh, fingerprints as well as scratches, and it feels pretty drop resistant as well. Well. There's also a 3.5mm headphone jack on the bottom for listening to your audio, um, also for voice guided prompts if you're maybe traveling and you don't want to bother other around you. Taking a quick look at the boot up sequence on this thing. Welcome to the iQuest handheld. So there are uh, voice guided prompts throughout this. Of course you can turn the volume all the way down if you don't want to use that. You can also adjust these things in the settings, but it does tell you, uh, actually say what menu you're in or what game you're in each time that you enter it for the first time. So right now this is the user interface, the main menu here that has the time and day information in the very bottom here that you can set. And uh, there's also different, uh, again, folders for apps such as a pop quiz, there's an address book on here, a scheduler, a notepad, a basic dictionary, calculator, uh, equation calculator, there's an anagram game as well as an options and setup and then it cycles back to the very top so pretty easy to use uh, for pop quiz you can also go ahead and program your own questions so it almost acts like the leapfrog crammer that we saw a few years back uh, it's kind of like a where you can input your own questions and answers and then test yourself uh, in a way that's very similar to using note cards so this is uh, kind of replicating that except of course you don't have a touch screen and you have to enter things yourself using this keyboard uh, otherwise taking a quick look at some of the other features on here really quickly if if we want to check out, let's say, the dictionary, for instance. Let's press enter here. All the keys here are pretty large and spacious. Uh, the display here does a decent job um, as long as you have an adequate lighting in the room since it isn't really backlit and it isn't a color screen. So if we want to find something, let's try to type in a letter um, and it searches it automatically each time that we type in something. So let's try astonish, for instance, and type enter. It gives you uh, all the definitions as well as uh, similar words, I believe, and you can tap up and down to navigate back and forth. So this is uh, what the layout looks like. Um, otherwise, if I want to save this, I can also do that, delete it, go back by one, and of course, all the way go back to the main menu screen is down below here. That's a little bit small uh, as far as controls are concerned, but uh, it does work fairly well. Uh, taking a look at some other features in here, like the equation calculator, perhaps, what this does is allow you to, I guess, uh, practice a bit more of your algebraic skills. Um, so you can do things such as enter uh, a, a linear algebra uh, equation, again, like 5x plus 2 equals, let's say, 20, and then solve for x, what x is, and it's actually going to do that for you. So it uh, replicates some of the 
uh, basic functions of a graphing calculator in the sense it's a bit more advanced than just a traditional scientific calculator, uh, but at the same time you can't add more advanced features like graphing, different lines, and so on and so forth. So you are limited to those functions, but it's a bit more um, advanced, so it gives you that option there. Um, otherwise, a notepad allows you to save basic text files on there, but again, you can't connect those to a computer, so it's uh, stuck on this essentially, kind of like a PDA. There's no way to uh, sync it out onto a Mac or a PC. And of course, each time they enter a new cartridge that allows you to uh, play a few more games or access a few more content. So if we just tap on the first thing that we see there, so chapter challenge, I believe is the cartridge that we've entered entered on here. Uh, and we're in this uh, fifth through eighth grade mode. But uh, again, if you enter another cartridge, like one for the SAT, that's probably going to expand that to 12th grade and might change the uh, the settings and drawer and the look a little bit. So Taking a quick look here, again, we have just some very basic folders for math, science, and social studies. So if we go into math, for instance, as a few animations, I can then go all the way, let's say, up to grade 8, and then skip ahead to things like geometry, operations, percentages. Here we go with geometry, and it's probably going to ask you a few questions that you have to answer, as well as guide you with a few things that you can uh, learn. Anyways, guys, this has been an interesting look back at the iQuest, a 2003 portable learning console developed by LeapFrog. And at the time, it was exciting since it really replicated more advanced features you might find in a PDA, Pocket Organizer. Uh, it was also fairly portable at the time, had the spacious QWERTY keyboard and the ability to swap out these cartridges and had a wider range and target audience, you know, in terms of being used for elementary school students, middle school students, and high school students than products from the company in the past. Uh, thanks for watching this retro look back review here at OS Reviews. This has been the iQuest.